Hey, integrated science friends, and today's lesson is going to be on the zodiac constellations. Now, I watched this woman's video. I like the little screen there, but I don't think that she does a very good job really truly explaining what the zodiac constellations are. So I'm going to do my best to explain what they are through the magic of this camera. So first of all, maybe, maybe you've heard of the zodiac, like I, for instance, know that I am a Capricorn. I was born on January 18th, which makes me a Capricorn. Why does it make me a Capricorn? Maybe you know yours. These are the, there are 13 different um, zodiac signs. Where is Capricorn? There it is, Capricorn. Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. And there's one more in there too. It is called, they, they, they did this three years ago. Um, let's see if I can find an image search of this. Zodiac kind. It starts with an oh, it's like Octavius or um, it's the thirteenth one. No, this isn't. They aren't gonna maybe here. No, I found it. It's Ophiuchus up here. Ophiuchus. That's the thirteenth one. So I'm gonna do my best to explain what they are and kind of in terms of, the, of what you already know about constellations. So these zodiac signs, what they are is they are regular modern constellations. So I drew um, here Capricorn and it, this is the shape of the section of the sky which is Capricorn and I drew in uh, the constellation, the asterism Capricorn there and there's this blue line that goes across it and it's called the ecliptic and I will teach you more about that later. Um, but what is a zodiac constellation and why are they assigned our birthdays? Let me show you. I'm going to go to the board behind me and I'm going to draw Capricorn in the sky. And uh, I think that the next uh, one after Capricorn would maybe be a quick... I'll, I'll just draw another one too while I'm there. So here I've drawn two of the 13 constellations um, in the sky as viewed from Earth. Now here's how this works. So when we are on planet Earth, which is this blue ball going around the Sun, now these are not to scale by any means. We will actually see Earth to uh, the Sun scale later on. But suffice to say that the Earth goes around the Sun. There are certain times where this um, constellation in the sky, when we are on Earth, we can see it. It's the sun happens to be in that constellation. In other words, like right now, it's in Capricorn. When you are on planet Earth and you look at the sun now, you'll see that the sun is in the constellation Capricorn. And so this is why Mr. Hare is a Capricorn, is because where Earth was when it's going around the sun, the sun just happened to be in Capricorn right now. And then the next one is Aquarius. So you'll notice that now the sun, sun's in Capricorn, sun's in Aquarius, and so on. It goes all the way around those 13. So there are certain days which the sun is in each of these um constellations. 
So let's just look up the days for Capricorn. So it says from December 21st to January 21st. So going back to here, because my birthday is on December or January 18th, it's in between here. So the sun enters into Capricorn during on the 21st of December, and then it goes into Aquarius on the 21st of January. So now it's really crazy because the sun is not moving. The sun is actually the thing that's still, and we're like, oh, the sun is in this, in this uh, constellation. In this whole thing here, the sun is not the thing that's moving. It's Earth, which is going around the sun. So from our perspective, the sun moves. Like I don't know if you've ever watched the sunset. Um, the sun is actually standing still. It's the earth which is turning. And that makes it seem like the sun is setting. But the sun is standing still, but the earth is just spinning away from it. And that's why you're seeing it set. So this sun is standing still here. But then from our perspective, the sun is in Capricorn. So there are 13 of these, and this is, these are the signs of the zodiac. Um, I'm going to give each of you one of these, and I'll try to make it correspond with each of your birthdays so you can talk about them. Um, and these are, these are very special. Um, uh, these are special constellations because they all line up on this line, which is called the ecliptic. So what I've got here, these are the dates um, of all of the new um, con the new signs of the zodiac. So when I told you that it was before um, December 21 to January 21, in reality, now Capricorn is January 20th to February 16th. So I am no longer a Capricorn. Mr. Hare is now a Sagittarius. So these dates um, kind of correspond with when the sun is in these different signs of the zodiac. So I'll go back to our picture and just kind of give you another idea. So these, these 13 constellations, they wrap around the sun. So when we're on planet Earth, it passes through, the sun passes through each of these constellations on different dates of the year. And these are the corresponding dates. So you can maybe look at this to see, oh, when's your birthday? Which, um, which constellation is the sun in in your birthday? There are people, they call them astrology, people who think that different personal traits or fortunes depend upon the signs and the stars, and that's complete rubbish. Um, there's a difference between astrology and astronomy. Astrology is this where they think that these play into a account of what happens in real life, but astronomy is what we're seeing here. Astronomy is actually looking at the stars. Which constellation is it in? Why is it in that constellation? So I'm going to give, I'll give you guys, um, we'll do a little bit of, of this too, and we'll, we'll paste those up on the wall so you kind of have an idea of how all of that works. So thanks for paying attention to us today. These are the signs of the zodiac. They're similar to the other con the other 88 constellations they actually are 
13 of the 88 constellations. They just happen to be in what's called the ecliptic, and we'll learn more about that in a little bit. But suffice to say that it's where the sun passes, the sun actually passes through these constellations through different times of the year.